it's the update reads it's the update it is the update and the today update. is the day today you gotta get this out day. before the day ends yeah i have two hours <laughs> and, and this is gonna take up an hour i'm not gonna get this done in an hour but yes you are lock I in i don't want to stay up <laughs> oh, god lock in don't even anyways that's right i'm sorry yeah, guys, I was just talking to Dunny about how I, I both love and really hate this media. I feel like this media perpetuated a lot of terrible culture within, like, fandoms and, like, cons. But you know what? It's cute. Hmm. You know? Like, there's this, like, little, there's this, like, 13-year-old kid who's, like, posting Homestuck TikToks. And I'm like, you don't even, you don't even, you weren't even, like, what are you talking about? You weren't even... You were, like, two. Like, what do you... I don't know. It's funny. It's how is it, How is this still alive? How is this, like, fandom know. still alive? I, they tried. They're everywhere. It's sort of a self-propagating thing. You know, I just realized, on that sprite of Jade on the floor, she has a sleeve on her arm. Look. She, should she have that? I think she's supposed to be just wearing, like... I thought it was spaghetti straps. Yeah, why she was whatever. I don't care. I kind of care. I don't care. I'm fine. I don't. I care. I care a lot. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she doesn't. Let's go back. Where's the thing? Yeah, I think. Well, I guess maybe she's just wearing a. She's wearing something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. There, you know, she's got it. She's got it. There's a little. There's a collar. I see it now. What's important is we have to predict what's going to be in this update. Uh, well, it's Dirk, so we're getting back to these guys after three years. Well, okay, not uh, really. Well, we're getting back to Dirk after three years. So there was a lot. He turned his speed. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god, guys. So today's, <laughs> so today's eats, right? Let me go mm -hmm. this real quick. Alright. Yeah. I got a, got a bowl. <laughs> I got a bowl. Ooh. Um, Did you with... it? Rice, mm -hmm, with rice. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, I just ate some pico. I mm. think it's spicy. Pico, onions, um, lettuce, corn, black olives, queso. Um, you know all the healthy stuff. All mm. the healthiest bowl you can think of is what I'm eating right now. So, yeah. yeah. Anyways, I don't want my favorite homestuck character. Me when I lie. I actually uh -huh. cannot care about him anymore. I know he's your favorite, though, right? <laughs> he's one of my favorites. I like Dirk. I mean, I don't like Dirk right now, but I like Dirk the idea. <laughs> Tony the man versus Mario the man versus Mario the idea. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, hit the next button. I'm slamming my fist on it. You can't see it, but I'm going to... Ooh, all right. <laughs> why is he why is he posed like that this is wow. this is why is he sitting like that dude this is he's a bro i, I know what you are is this, is this the tiktok riz party <laughs> shut up do not mention he's sitting like the, he's like the group leader like look at the way he's sitting why That's is he so dancing rude. like that wait a minute. wait hold on tony why is he kind of fine don't say that you don't mean it <laughs> oh my god, he's got like the pants going and like the look. He's kind of he got he's has that like sleeper build low key. <laughs> sleeper build Dirk is real. Is it's like it's a thing. This is this is a choice to put this to start this update off with this. This is a choice. Look at look at his chain, bro. <laughs> look at his cape chain, bro. It's so good. <laughs> this man is insane. Okay. I don't know who this artist is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I do. I, I remember when I said that Dirk wasn't my favorite. I was like, I think that I just like. <laughs> uh, when I said that, I right before I got into a coma, <laughs> and now that I've woken up. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. What do you have to say, Dirk, in your whiny narrative text? <clears throat> well, Bro. well, well. Look who comes really? crawling back. Had your full really? splash around the narrative. Kitty pool, sick of its sterile, chlorinated artificial reek. 
Its mind-numbing placidity, punctuated only by the occasional thrashing tantrums of whiny fucking crybabies and the shrill rebuke of a lifeguard, ready to take fl the floaties off and dive back in the depths of the churning, primal ocean from which everything that matters in this story evolved, and to which it must inevitably return. Of course you are. Come join me. The water is fine. Dude, the water's not the only thing that's fine. Oh, oh. my, that's what I'm hey. Ooh, look at it. Ooh, look at this Ooh, hair. Oh my gosh. I hate this He's man so, so like... much. I love him. He has like cloud hair. Oh, it's, it's like look at the way his hair is spiky. Is that our session right here? We've got a, a Skya and a CrossFit and a Dose right there. I bet it's not actually going to be a session right now. Or maybe we are in the session. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We're in the cave still. Yeah. <laughs> Professional yapper, bro. What the hell is I'm this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have it's to. Not be you. Like, like, what is he yapping about? <laughs> As you've hopefully gathered by now, things are happening again. They've been happening again for a while now. Since a certain handsome somebody decided to get off his toned, muscular ass and ascend to godhood for the sake of getting the narrative and all his friends' lives back on track. You're welcome, by the way. But they're especially happening again here and now. When you last left us, our contest had just begun. Rose and I were- Shut up, don't- Xbox. This is not like Top Gear. What are you talking right. about? Don't, whatever. Rose and I were beginning the lengthy and convoluted process of engineering our own races to populate Detritus, meticulously tweaking the genetic profiles of respective collective like consciousnesses in an effort to create a species fit to conquer the next session of the game. While I was, Rose dipped pretty early on in that visual montage to spend some quality time trading barbs and bumping uglies with that supposed impartial proctor of said contest, next to the vacant meat sack that once housed her consciousness. Irresponsible, sure, but to give credit where due, it was irresponsible in a poignant, symbolically weighty sort of way. Classic Rose shit. Rest assured, however, that since then, she spent at least as much time throwing herself in the work as she is questioned for occasional polygonous bruising. Alright, thanks, Dirk. I don't want to hear about thank that, you, but thank you. Right. Uh, it's been a pretty good time, to be honest. Every now and then I could feel her interest waning, but she's done an incredible job cooking up a witty retort of a race into the deep rhetorical questions posed by my equally, if not more, bombastically inspired offspring. She's proven herself a worthy rival and a worthy collaborator. Her patience for this particular stage of our grand designs is starting to fray, but it's just as well. Both of us have essentially done all we feel we can do to lay down solid bio, physio, so psychosociological foundations for our chosen people. <laughs> Reading so much like Dirk. Rose's growing discomfort with, and the desire to move on from this process helps to curb an urge of mine that she correctly identifies a deep-seated need to micromanage things to care about. A few days back, we both agreed that it's high time to get this fucking show on the road, so we put the f finishing touches on our, si on our silence. And are just... I can't even remember how to pronounce it. It's been so long since I've used ski on silence. And are just about ready to drop them kicking and screaming into the wilds of this beautiful doomed planet. I'd love to see this what This show dirt. from the Netflix original You? Like, this is... I don't <laughs> understand. I forgot he talked <laughs> like that. Yep, that's how he talks. What are you looking around for? Actually, give me a moment. I need to fix something that's been bugging me. Derek, run yourself in a more age-appropriate manner this instant. Oh yeah, of course, of course. There we go. He's kind of... <laughs> um... <laughs> um... Wow. Look Wait at a you, minute. Freak little Hold thin on. arms. I love you, dude. Why would... Why did the style change? What's going on now? Well, he's an adult now. They're all adults. They get to be drawn like adults, I guess. Oh, that's real. I mean, they are like 30. <laughs> that's a cute style change, though. Yeah, Why is he wearing really cool. I like the uh, I like the pantaloons upgrade. You know, I get to see those pantaloons. Yeah, it's nice. There we go. We're adults for fuck's sake. Ooh. <laughs> all right, now. Oh, she has fatty. <sighs> Oh my god, she's a baddie. Look at her flare band. We're so annoying. We're, we're like, back. We're, we're, so back. we're so annoying. We're such annoying people. Why are we like this? Oh my god. Look at the, look at the, dude. She's fitted up. Like, bro, I you, can... you walk into the thrift store and the first thing you see, like, I would, if I was in a thrift and I saw Terezi, I think I'd leave. Like, that's where, that's where every, every good thing from the Goodwill went. <laughs> I will admit, Trezzy's pretty good. Yeah, I like Trezzy. Uh, yeah, she's bad. A lesbian, some though. people love like, that for her. Though. Love that for her. You know, on the side. Only when it comes to hating people. She loves not women when it comes to 
But uh, she's still kind of low-key Jessica. It's weird. It's a convoluted... Uh, and yeah, Tracy looks nice. <clears throat> now all that remains is to Derek. Um, all that remains is to Derek. Sign. What? You are doing the thing again. And what's worse is that instead of at least having the decency to spot off about something new or interesting, you have instead chosen to waterboard the raw neural tissue of my think fan with an acrid, dumb, acrid and super, super acrid and superfluous, superfluously, I can never say that word. Got it. Overcarbonated narrative recap dump. Well, it's a recap for you. But for those who haven't checked in on us in a while, it's more of a stage setting thing. It's basically a recap for them too, idiot. You and your inability to shut up even as you actively champion the needing of things moving would be almost as awe-inspiring as if it weren't so astoundingly obnoxious. I can't read Teresa's dialogue anymore. I'm losing it, man. <laughs> what am I becoming to? I haven't met her in so long. <clears throat> Teresa, as you can tell, is still decidedly less enthusiastic about this whole shindig. Maybe she's feeling a bit unheard. And insignificant, confronted with the reality shaking splendor of two gods, even their gen Genesis bags, with little time to entertain her trivial mortal misgivings. Maybe the magnificent gravity of this is lost in her entirely. As you see, why are you just saying this out loud? She could hear you. It's like, <laughs> right. what a little shit. I hate you sometimes, Jake. But I love you too. As she seems to spend all her effort these days, avoidantly trudging through a mire of self pity and principles deadlock, instead of getting into the fucking spirit of the moment a little bit and appreciating not only the opening lines of the superb, stupendously important tra chapter in the history of fucking everything, but her privileged role in it. Maybe she'd prefer if we just in media res this shit and skipped right to, yes, you're p you petty, vindictive jerk. I would vastly prefer that, especially given that it is something you explicitly promised me we would be able to do. And we will. After Rose and I release our pouring the progeny into the Deltritus wilds, the three of us are going to time skip forward 10,000 years or so, so we don't have to sit around twiddling our thumbs like assholes waiting for a respective species to become sufficiently advanced. Even I'm not so much of a micromanager that I'd be able to keep myself entertained for a millennia with only Deltritus to play with. Nobody has the patience for that. Besides, we have other important shit to get to. Also, you probably die of old age. Yes. Also, isn't there people coming to the planet? Like, what are we... How are you gonna time go? Right, like, like, literally. I'm about to die of boredom right now. So if you're finishing monologuing and lecturing and generally being a self-satisfied paprika prick, ooh, that's a good one, Therese. It'd be grand of you to drop your kids off at the dawn of their civilization, fire up your bullshit machine, and launch us into the beauty of this new session, Lickety Split. It's, yeah. Oh, Lickety Split. I love spit. the word Lickety Oh. <laughs> It's <laughs> what? It's not split. It's spit. It's spit. I love the word lickety split though. Like yeah, it's, it's so you know. It's a little old fashioned. You know. I love you, Terzi. It's lickety split. Yuck. Dude, anyway, I'm. Is that a humor on my salami? Sorry, I just opened this salami packet. <laughs> Some weird cut to it. I am not eating. Oh my god. <laughs> Happy four thirteen, everyone. <laughs> the salami Sorry. mood. <laughs> my bad. Maybe anyway, I'm pretty much <laughs> done monologuing, but I've got a bit more lecturing and self-satisfied paprika prickery in me, so you're gonna have to sit tight for a bit longer. Bleh. Don't you bleh me. Oh, that was a weird bleh. I liked it though. You think you can just roll up to my grand commencement speech and interrupt my triumphant expository flex sesh without taking some of the heat? Let's forget you're actually pretty. You've actually got a pretty important role to play in all this. Taking up the helm at the com command terminal, guiding the Intel Trident civilization slowly but surely towards the game. The role Rose tells me you've chosen to automate. Yep. What? Oh my God! Is <laughs> Terezi AI? Terezi, don't do AI. <laughs> I still can't. It's just a little disappointing, is all. Rose and I put so much work into whipping up some zany, adorable, kind of fucked up little dudes. Fucked up little dudes is a good phrase. Good job, Derek. I'm like giving these people points. Like, I, like this isn't like a, I don't know. I think they're just saying really funny words. The least you could do is attempt to give a shit about how they turn out. Or was all that hand wringing about how you worried you were that Rose and I were becoming big bad cosmic tyrants with no regard for the poor little mortals buffeted to and fro by the vicious momentum of our designs to do virtue signaling. Or worse. Floor playing? Wow, pretty low, Terezi. I expected a lot better of you. That jokey but not really familiar guilt trip moon moo shit maneuver might work on Rose. It doesn't. But it doesn't mean shit to me. 
It does. Not that I needed to bust it out for you. I know you wouldn't have just abandoned the Tridents to the cruel march of time, whatever scant preparation you imagined we gave them. You don't trust Rose, or I'd give enough of a fuck about them, and despite your occasional pro prote protestations, you are, for the most part, too good a person to just turn your back on them and let whatever happens, happens. I trust that the automated suggestions you put in place, and the conditional map that prompts them, were thought through with an honest and touching amount of care, considering my misgivings. There's no doubt in my mind that even if Rose and I hadn't already knocked all this creationism shit out of the park, the sons and our daughters of Deltritis would make it to the game just fine with even the barest phantom of your council. That's why I'm allowing you to do this at all. I don't need your permission. Wrong. Alright, shut up there. Oh, fuck all you. Right. <laughs> and for the record, you also, you're also wrong in your assertion that we don't care about them. We do. I do at any rate. Yeah, your paternal generosity knows no bounds. Anyone would be grateful to have a benevolent creator like you. One that'll ultimately ensure that their entire planet is obliterated, orbitally bombarded, and their species all, are dri all but driven extinct, save for a few for a few lucky juveniles. That's just how the shit goes down for species lucky enough to fucking matter to the circle of life, Hakuna Matata, Kaysera Sera, and you know it. I don't know shit. Plato, nice. All this hate on philosophizing, and yet here you are, bursting out the certified classics to counter my rhetoric. Ugh, I don't know who Plato is, but if I don't know shit is the best he had to offer, he couldn't have been worth that worth studying. <laughs> Plato was actually pretty badass, but we're straight off from the point. Ah, oh, this man was named Time Demas Testified. You don't want to get into it. This guy is. I feel like this man is 49 laws of how, like, is in, you know, like, 49 <laughs> laws of where, like, yes, you know, Socrates, like, <laughs> I can't do this. Who am I reading? I don't even know anymore. Originally, the plan was to pop in every couple hundred years to check into the Trident race's progress and to give you a bit of a time to guide them manually, which I maintain would have been pretty fun. We encourage you, probably fruitlessly, to consider giving it a go. But hey, you say you aren't feeling it? Fine, I can make concessions. I've got other agents in play, and as I've said, I know we aren't going to risk fucking your end of the workup. Who are your other agents? Your robots? Is Square Wave gonna be help with these people? Like, what? How can you be sure? Maybe extended proximity to the strong on delusions of grandeur has driven me to the breaking point. Maybe I'm just laying low, earning your trust so I completely ruin your plans for another session, doing all I can to turn Sky's attention elsewhere and disqualify this planet as a candidate. Not only to protect the untold millions of future little tritons are planning to pulverize, but also for the satisfaction of shattering that stoic deadpan of yours, if just for one delicious moment. Don't stand behind her like that, Dirk. Don't do her. Don't do her like that. Must be pretty good to imagine, huh? But you won't. Damn, alright. Dirk, please. She's just a little girl. Don't don't push her down. I'm sure it turns you, because if you did, I'd just have to tell you you had another patient start again. Not that you value your life much there right now. That you really should. But you and I both know you aren't here because I need you. You're here because you need me. You need this session to happen. You need a chance to fix the mistake you've got in that wallet and bring a hole to your pocket. I knew it. You guys all hated me. <laughs> Why is he bringing her, him into this? <laughs> you made a lot of those, Terezi. But you know what? Besides being important, what we're doing here is a chance to rectify one of them. And you aren't going to let that chance slip. <laughs> I know what it's like to make hard choices for the people you care about. To run your brain raw, think about how to make things right. I've been doing it the whole my whole damn life. The choice you pre presented Have with you? here is pretty fucking easy. And you're a very smart person, so I trust you to make the right decisions. That's all. I don't really feel like pontificating at you anymore. Great. We're getting ready to kick this thing off, so all I have left to ask is this. Do you think you've done everything you need to do to prepare the terminal? We're counting on you. He's counting on you. Bro, this is, this is D1 gaslighting right this here. This really is. This is D1 <laughs> gaslighting we're witnessing here, guys. A true what girl boss hell? in her element, honestly. Good go, Dirk. Girl her, bossing. Her act is being manipulated, like, Insane. bad. Oh my gosh. Rest in peace. Terezi's feelings. <laughs> yeah, so... yeah. Everything's set up. I don't feel like being pontificated at anymore either, so I'm leaving. Once you and Rose get done philosophizing each other, let me know we can get this bullshit time skit over and done with. I'll be in my fucking chambers. These are shared chambers, but whatever. Bump. Ooh. Straylons. Banter. Ooh, alright. That's a good 
Ooh, what that is a, a really good shot. Hat. <clears throat> Looks like you're getting pretty good at motivational speaking. Well, so we need to shake off the rust off of her. She's getting nerves right before the big game. We're never gonna make it to nationals at this rate. Ah, fuck it. The sports. How quickly I forgot them. There's gotta be some kind of sports penalty for forgetting the sports. Oh, definitely. And I've been very bad. I need to be punished to preserve the integrity of the sports. Kind of weird of you to say that, Rose, what? but all right. Um, <laughs> let me just slip into my jackass shorts, judge my outfit, and get to laying down the fucking sports law. Uh, let's stop for saying sports. Agreed. Speaking of outfits, though, look at you. Do you like it? It's chic. I dig the return of the hood. You could deliver a whole hell of a lot of cryptic prophecies out from under that sucker. Yes, well, I figured that if I am to appear before our chosen people as a harbinger of their simultaneous doom and salvation, I may as well look the part. Ooh, that's a ooh, that's a nice shot. Oh, oh wow. Do you feel the part? It doesn't really matter what I feel. What? Rose bought a bad bitch. Her Dodie, body. Stop, stop the car. Stop the car, Dodie. Why is she bad? <laughs> <laughs> don't eat she's shaped like a coke bottle, don't don't That's don't, a don't robot, don't stop, stop the car. Do she creep? <laughs> Bro Okay, keep reading. Absolutely not. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what I feel. We have a job to do and I'm trying to enjoy myself to the best of my ability while we do it. Trying, huh? Speaking frankly, I've grown tired of Rose gestures about the lab, the vats of our exobiological triumphs and failures. Blase and Omni Larry in a way I haven't seen from her in a while. It comes to mind the exhaustion she felt before ascending. It must be like a lifetime for her ago. The ring faintly of mortality in a way that concerns me. This fussing over all the tedious minutia of getting the baby's room ready. I don't like how you're phrasing this. You guys are ma daughter and father. <laughs> The prospect of this contest looked en entertaining to me for a time, but the longer it drags on, the closer we draw to the due date, the more it repulses me. I'm glad you've agreed that we're basically done tinkering here. I don't think I have much more patience for it. I can tell. I'm also glad you've elected to hear Terezi out vis-a-vis -vis the time skip that saves us the hassle of guiding the Deltridians manually. I know it must be hard for you. It'll actually be incredibly easy for me. Just time traveling forward is no-go. At the frantic rate our pursuers are hurtling towards us, they catch up to the tried it far before it had the chance to birth any sort of civilization at all. And that'd be a mess, especially with us only due to popular millennia after the fact. We'd probably return to a planet totally unfit for the game candidacy. Localized time travel, while technically possible, tends to get pretty fucked even in the most ideal of circumstances. To say nothing with the fact that it's way outside of my wheelhouse as a hard player. The concept works pretty well for my purposes though, and as a burgeoning omnipotent narrative god, I can mimic it in a way that's functionally identical. The move here is that I'm going to envelop the local galaxy group in a pocket of my influence and narratively accelerate it via bullshit so that whatever's going on in here goes on faster, so we can get to the good shit faster. Alright, cool. So we can get on with our jobs and see you gawking voyeurs have more of our lives to guzzle greedily down. Mean. Why the galaxy group? Why not just the solar system or even the planet? My answer to that question is twofold. Firstly, I want the little Tridian societies to have a convincing view over their place in the cosmos, at least locally. What kind of civilization worth, it, worth its soul searching salt doesn't look to the night sky with wonder and curiosity in their hearts? I wouldn't do for them to exist in a world where the sun never sank below the horizon, where the stars didn't dance tellingly across the sky, revealing the kind of hard hitting super solar astronomy can. Secondly, I'm showing off. It's been really coming to my own power wise. I'm not just, and it's not just my hard abilities that have shot up a few exponentially longer astral ladders. Derek? Of course, Rose isn't talking about the mechanics of the time skip. She's talking about the reasoning behind it and the lack of precise control of the Tritus' development that would result as a consequence of it. I figured I'd just take the time to address the how factor to you all before the fucking pendants among, pendants among you start making a fuss, acting like I haven't thought all this shit out. Yeah, you. You know who you are. Also, I'm stalling. I'm characteristic me. Of me, I know. Derek? Sorry, I got caught up with something. Far be it from me to stand between you and your enigmatic somethings. You're welcome to stand wherever you like. Anyway, no, it isn't that hard for me. It'd be fun, but as I keep having to explain to people, I'm willing to compromise on certain points. Though I will say it's unfortunate to hear you making them instead of our complaint of a retainer. What can I say? I don't feel particularly inclined to play house right now. 
not even with me, huh? Not even with you. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Whoa! This is nice. <laughs> Derek looks so silly next to Rosebot because Rosebot is like insane. Really, really just like insane, awesome design. <laughs> Derek's just sitting there, looks like a three-year-old. But he also looks like a dad, which makes sense because he is a dad, kinda. That's a good. Maybe I'll make this my computer background for a That's while. A good one. That is a good one. For a while, neither of us says anything at all. Then, still silent, Rose turns and leaves the lab, a billing scheme of orange. I follow after, at a respectable distance, and begin to relieve the mouth of the cave, making our way up to the steps. <gasps> Carved into the cliffside, it now burrows into, until finally cresting the, the plateau. And where the six taking a seat together at the edge of the cliff to look over one of Deltritis' fast and alien oceans. Wait, what's with the ocean, you might ask? A while back, it became apparent that while my Deltritian offspring were extraterrestrial, Roses were going to be aquatic. Back when I figured that they had a more active role in their development, it felt appropriate to me that our base of operations to straddle land and sea, existing and partially at the principal precipice between the two competing worlds. I'd like them to transport via bullshit, of course, our humble grotto to the wreck of the thief and, <clears throat> and the wreck of the Theseus Cliffs, cliffs overlooking the sea, that we might watch over our children's little locale most suitably dramatically in the middle, than some fucking plane in the middle of nowhere. Is my voice going? <coughs> Sorry. I think it's just because I'm like speaking so much and I can hear a rasp in it. Yeah, a little bit. I was like, you good? You need me to read it? Like, oh no. my god. I'm good, I'm good. I can just. <clears throat> I'm good. <laughs> Donny never gives up. Now, however, the effort, insofar as it was one, which it wasn't, <gasps> seems to have been mostly in vain. No seagulls cry here. Anyway, Rose and I made a lot of other fuller filler fauna to help our species integrate into local biosphere while working through our respective game plans, but I never got around to replicating or approximating seagulls. I guess I'm not going to bother. doesn't particularly feel like much of, my, of a home anymore. Oh, that's kind of sad. He was very yeah. close to the seagulls. As we sit side by side, watching the horizon, Rose is even harder to read than usual. I begin to feel the twinge of vexation that I've been all too aware of over untold trillions of iterations of myself. I dread that it's reared its head again recently, the fear that my plan isn't understood, my efforts aren't appreciated, that I'm alone again. I worry that she's slipping away, going disinterested in our time together, and I'm not willing to lose her. So as much as it feels like I'm admitting a kind of defeat, I prepare to make her. Thank you for taking what? me with you, Derek. <laughs> yeah? Ooh. Oh. Oh I... my god, no. No, it's not like no. that. It's like a thing. They're like friends. They're like family. It's not care. like that. I don't Uh, well, actually, care. it is. she is admitting something really sad if she's like, thanks for taking me with you. That's kind of sad. I may be less than enchanted with this stage of the work, but I know it's important. And I'm just straying dang it's just straying dangerously close to a lot of things I'm trying not to fixate on right now. Wounds that are still fresh for me as a son and for the myriad legions of my parts. Home. Family. Petty little things. Personal things. <laughs> Those are important, too. Not as important as this is for all my temporary discomfort with the prospect of settling down on Thiltritis and starting what could very well loosely be considered a family with you. I want you to know, I don't know why you're phrasing like that, that my heart is in what we are working towards. Technically, you don't have a heart. Shut up. And that I'm happy to be here with you, not drifting around in the constructive small pond getting caught up in trivialities like politics and celebrity and romance, but saving the fucking universe. Relief pulses through me in an immense wave. Relief and unfathomable, indescribable pride. It's almost paralyzing. Shut up, Dirk. I just sit here for a while, grateful for my shades and their ability to protect me from making eye contact with my daughter, who is in this moment as brilliant as the aspect that adorns her hood. I should tell her. Well, you're welcome. She scoffs at my bar bare bones response, and I'm forced to marvel at her ability to communicate so weightily, conveying such a minutely specific blend of emotion and understanding, affection, acknowledgement, encouragement, adonishment. And so much more, all with the hardware of a literal machine. She is an incredible person. To my credit, I am also an incredible engineer. There it goes. That that humility. That's, there you go. At any rate, Rose might be beating my ass in the emotive front, but I'm still capable of articulating, articulating myself well enough, and I better start soon, or I'm going to begin to look like a real fucking dork. You already look like a real fucking dork, dude. Right. You have Rainbow Dash on your wall in your house. You couldn't stop it. <laughs> That your house is definitely like, I don't even know where it is, I guess sitting somewhere. 
I don't think there's anyone I'd rather be doing this with than you. The rest of them just don't have it in them right now to understand what it is we're fighting for here. They can you grasp the stakes. Even now, they're on their way here, actively trying to stop us from saving them all. They'll probably catch us right before our entrance into the game, actually. I won't insult you by asking if you're going to be okay with the, when the time comes to face them. Demanding answers they won't accept to questions they aren't even asking because they know that you will. So I'm glad to have you with me. I'm glad you understand. Oh, that's nice. I'm doing this all for all of us. I'm doing this for all of us. Well, I guess it's kind of sweet, that's kind tough. of scary. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty nice. I don't know, it's like, the fact that he's uh, like a robot is just like, well, that shit kind of... Mm. It's weird, it's weird. Like, oh my god, I love my daughter. Like, she's like, she basically, like, she's basically dead. She's basically me. I love my daughter. <laughs> I love my daughter. My, my robot daughter is more emotive than me, the real human. Like, real human, right. Like, what the hell? I'm so proud of her. <laughs> Dirk is a very troubled man. He is very troubled, and I don't know, I don't think we can fix him. Maybe we could. So why are they- So they're, they're making a race to what? Just like- Play the game and make the story go on for longer. So that they don't oh. all become like the candy people, where they just slowly die. And lose all their powers and stuff. Kind of contradictory. I know, right? It's, it's... I want to create life so everything keeps going. Things die eventually, do they not? So this is a really good. This is a really good artist. artist. This one. Yeah, this one's. Let's see. Let me... Should I make this one? Yeah, I think I'll make this one my uh my background. It's kind of weird though. It's not like background size, but I can work with what I'm given. talk about my things on these, but I don't really know. Yeah, you don't. You should. Man, all my screenshots are going terribly. And I'm, they're making loud noises, actually. I should probably stop doing this. They're gonna make loud noises in this thing. I'm not gonna be able to edit them out. Whatever. We're working on one of these. Okay, shut up. Um, I like this. I like Dirk. I like Rosebud, and I like Terezi. I like all three of these people. Dirk's kind of mean, but you know. It's weird, I don't know, there's some weird vibes going on here. Real, real, weird sad vibes, like I don't want Rose to admit that she's like happy to be with Dirk here, cause she shouldn't be. They should not be but happy I think, here. I don't know, I just think it goes to show like, like I said, like she's a bro, like she's a bot. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy that I'm here with you. Like, what else could you possibly be doing? Like, there's nothing sh else she could possibly be doing. I don't know. And then the, the whole... I like how they talked about John. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really good. <laughs> uh, we haven't heard of John in, like, Red a couple years. No, no, well, we heard of John when they came back. So I think they finally... Right when they came back, they are like, John's here. And they brought him up again here, yeah. which is very good. Bring up John all you That's can. Very good. Please. Please. It's just interesting the way that like because i never really like okay like i've never been like a super huge dirt fan like even in like the old i don't know i just i don't know i just never a big dirt lover not that he wasn't cool but like what's it called mm. i don't see like a i get it i don't know like Okay, making a divine race, so the game just keeps going, so they don't all die of obscure. But then it's like, what happened to the humility before? That's why I low key wish that there was like, are there any Homestuck? Like, is there any content before Homestuck? If, if that makes sense, like, uh, what like, were these people doing? Like the people in the world of Homestuck. Yeah, the people in the world. Yeah. Eh, not really. It's supposed to be its own little earth, and then, you know, there's the stuff. There's, like, the lore doc that, like, is kind of official, but it's, like, no one would ever reference it. 
because it's like, you know, some of the things about Betty Crocker in the comics. That's technically stuff that's before Homestuck because it talks about the history of the world. But those are like major historical figures. Nothing like about just the regular people in the world. Because we obviously know what happens to all of humanity except for four kids in yeah. both Earths, which is like they all get immediately wiped out and there's no one there left. No one there, yeah. Except for a bunch of care patients, like three million years in the future. Four million. Four Some million. crazy work. I don't know. It's really pretty good art. I should probably figure out who's doing the art. Yes. One of these people. I don't even know my homestuck artists anymore. I used to know like styles because I'm that was years ago. I don't really keep up with all the artists. But you know, it's it's sad to see Rose Bach starting to like it really, it enjoy really being is. here. But then again, it's also like it's Rose Bach, so she's probably just like lying to you know, because it's like they're brazen of how proud Dirk is. So it's like she's definitely lying. She's gonna like pull the rug out from underneath him. It's gonna be betrayal. It's gonna be sad but then also it could just be like she is like legitimately I don't even know it's like but the, the, the reason I'm thinking it's like a it's an act is that it's like Drake is like gonna make her like grow attached or whatever because he's like he's about to like you know go into the corners dialogue and make her kind of like Admit like they they should be like they're like the best teammates, but then she does it automatically on her own. So it's like I think that's definitely like she's trying to like trick him. Mm. But if that's she a is, good just, theory. You know, okay. That's, that's, you know, it's don't it's theorizing. <laughs> this is just a really kind of you know Dirk is a very messed up guy. This is just a really nice picture. So how do the how do you feel about this being the up like the update in the this day. 13 update? Yeah, this is a pretty good. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Like, last update was pretty good, but they just tripped on, like, magical dust. So that was a pretty good update. The one before it was okay, I think. Some of the Vriska ones haven't been, like, this substantive, but this is like a 413 update. This is big. You see yeah. all three of these guys they're talking about their plans. This is a pretty, you know, it's a, it's a solid update. Yeah, I think so too. I just really like I love like John Egbert mentioned like I don't care like I, <laughs> like that that did it that did it like neuron activation John Egbert like I just don't I'm still manipulating the shit out of Perezzi though because yeah it's not good but like, it's like, what, <laughs> what does he even mean by we can bring John back with the game like obviously he's lying <laughs> to her he's lying to her I mean, but why is still it saying, of course, you know like the sprite like throwing in one of the sprites when they start the game. But also, maybe it could be something different. Like, maybe there could be, like, a, a life player or someone or anyone. Or, like, a breath player. Like, a sylph of breath or something. Like, make someone, like, steal non canon or heal non canonicity. I don't even know. I Dude, think, yeah. So, like, they played Suburban. He was like, yeah, we should do this shit again. <laughs> what? I mean, admittedly, you remember how shitty their session was. Like, the beta kids yeah, had, like, like, actual really people, shitty. and they had, like, the salamanders. Everyone was dead in their session. Everyone was dead. It was super hard to do. They had to, like, fight, and his planet was filled with toxic gas. It's like, I don't know. I feel like that's a really bad run. Yeah. I feel like if we could rewind that, just be like, chill. But also, he sucks now. So, and he's, like, 30. And the whole point about the, <laughs> the game is that it's supposed to be played by young kids. By young so kids, grow yeah. Up and be like mature throughout. But he's like a he's just acted like a child. And he's scary. And he control people's thoughts as well. Hmm. This story's getting pretty good. I have to admit. I like her a lot. I, I do I work. She yeah, she's got really good pants on. Got her little spike. <laughs> She's got her little pointy boots. That are still Crocs, I think. I think those are still just alchemized from her Crocs. So she just got Croc boots. With the holes in them. I think this is a pretty good Terezi, like, adult sprite, I guess. I think she would be a little thicker. She's 
overall. Not in a weird way. I just mean like in the general, he's pretty skinny. But also, Terezi is kind of made to be like a really skinny little spindly stick figure to some people. Mm -hmm. Me personally, it's like, I don't know. I'm in the middle. This is a really scary panel. I don't like this panel. <laughs> yeah, that's a... He's the... With the orange, too? <laughs> the orange is the smallest small in there. This is a scary panel, but this one's not as scary. <laughs> why is he- why is he- like, what is his- <laughs> Dirk's- Why is he look like that? <laughs> he's such a funny guy. He is- he's really funny. He's walking around dressed like that, and he expects people to take him seriously. <laughs> you look like- you look like a little prince boy. Cause he is a little prince boy, I guess. He's got the stupid little shoes and the cape. What a funny little guy. Love you, Derek. Or is he? But yeah, this, this is a pretty good 413 update, I won't lie. I agree. I feel like I really want things to start happening, but they're they're getting teased with happenings. I won't I won't say it's the best it could be, but it's for what I was expecting, it's pretty good. I hope that after match. this, like, something actually starts happening, you know? I don't even know. Well, we, you know, we saw these guys once. It's definitely going back to the candy timeline where we dick around with Riska for another two updates, I think. Oh, I think it's I really due time. We, t we started looking at Jake English. I think Jake English is really what we need. Like, okay. I, I love the meat timeline. The people who are left in the meat timeline, which is just Jane and Jake, are just gone from this story. Because, like, what's their... Their, their goal is they're going to sit on a planet for the next who knows how many years and just sit there. They get to be written out of this story. I, I get that. I don't want to hear more about those two in the meat timeline. The candy one, <laughs> sure. But like, you know. Is that a con I don't think that's a controversial opinion. I bet that's not. Weird vibes. I don't know, I think this is weird vibes because we don't see like adult mother daughter father daughter relationships in the media. It's like if you're an adult, you're probably away from your parents all the time and you hate them. This is well, weird. No. Most of the time. You hate them, but most of the time in media. I think in real life, you know. Alright guys, I don't have much to say because I just kind of like don't- I don't- I don't know what to say. I think this is cool. I'm the dirt guy. Like, <laughs> I'm just not a- you know, yeah, you're the- you're the dirt person. I feel like I have everything else to say all the other times because I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's about like writing stuff. This is kind of yeah. like, I don't know, bruh. Yeah, you know, it's- it's plot. Weird ass character yeah. development. Anyways, what I want in the next update, you know, I thought this update really sucked because I think that I think that the fact that Dirk was fully clothed in this chapter was really, you know, oh, not, yeah. not only, you know, it was really yeah. like it might have elevated it a little bit, you know, but it's it's good that I like the art a lot. <laughs> is uh, my point. I like that. I I thought it was really pretty, except for the pet, the fact where I didn't see Dirk's pecs. You know, so I'm gonna have to give this one a six out of ten. Rosebot is such a cool design. I love everyone who makes a Rosebot design for this comic. Thank you, Rosebot designers. I do this for you. Right, that that cloak. Ooh. Ooh. It's a look. It's a it look. is a look. She ate that up. She did. It's true. This makes up for the fact earlier today, Craft, or Watch a Homesick Read Through of, had to end their stream early today. They got to that part, you know, in Act 6, where it's like all those different options and they're on the final battle right before the end of the comic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they only got through one of those. <laughs> and, like, oh. no, you know, no spoilers, I can't tell them how many of those there are, but there's like 30? <laughs> or something? There's like 32 of those or whatever. But yeah, because it's 8 times. Forty dialogues. Yeah, all of eight. It's like a, there's so many. It's gonna take forever to get through there. But yeah. So yeah, homestuck. Homestuck day. See you next month, I guess.
Yeah, I guess. Yeah. May. Damn, it's, all, it's already May. It is already May. Insane. Hopefully it comes out on your day. I, I don't want it to come out on my day. My day's so late into the month. Huh? Well, not, not really. It's pretty late. It's like, what, like a week before the end? I'm like three-fourths of the way through May. Yeah. Less than a week. What are you doing for Donnie Day this year? Uh, I don't know. Probably the same thing I do every year. <laughs> maybe I'll go on like a... Uh, well, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll see if I can hang out with my friends. Lit. We're losing our train of thought. Anyways, bye everyone. <laughs> yeah, bye! Bye everyone. See what's, your, what's your words of wisdom for the end? Um... Make sure you download that one app that tells you your horoscope every day, because mm. honestly, if I didn't have that, then I wouldn't understand how my day would go. Ah, I also, see. Um, you know, if you're if you're a fan of Homestuck, you know this. I'm I'm ha well, I'm both worried and happy for you because honestly, the fact <laughs> that this media has remained relevant or at least somewhat <laughs> relevant, like over the course of this long, like, dude. This is like internet culture, like that's crazy. Like I, the more I think about it, the more, the more I'm like, damn, like Homestuck really, like, started the culture. That's what we should have gone on a rant about. <laughs> instead of not, instead of you like talking and me being like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we should have been like, we should have talked about how Homestuck changed the game. That's literally it is created. The anniversary. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> we only have we're only forty six minutes in. Well, we can always make this an hour long thing. I have to add music to it. Oh God. Oh my god, okay, well, I mean, we could, but I mean, there's not really much to say about it, except for the fact that, like, home really changed, like, it really defines mm -hmm. fan and culture, media culture, bro, Tumblr culture, I swear to god. <laughs> Tumblr culture like, would have benefited from this, I guess. I think that the fact that Homestuck is still, has, like, a very, like, is the dictative a word, or is it dedicative? I don't know if it's the dictative. I think it sounds smarter, but I think I'm yeah, just wrong. I, it's okay. I, yeah, I think it's probably not a word. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> a fan base who, you know, is still, like, dedicated to, you know, reading the media and creating content for it, and the fact that it's always, like, garnering new fans as well. Like, I don't know. I think that's just so cool. I think it's so cool, but also, like, dude, I don't know. Like, I love how an art... I could tell, like, whenever I look at art online, or, like, if I'm on, like, TikTok or Twitter or Instagram or something, like, I can tell when a person, like, read Homestuck. Yeah. You know? Or, like, when a person, when a person, like, like, I, there's just one artist who used to make a lot of, like, really dumb, like, cleaning stuff on YouTube that I used to watch, mm -hmm. and they recently they made a TikTok where they, like, mirrored, like, the Flash animation style of, like, Car Cat, and I was like, bro. Somebody in the comments was like, bro, I could tell you were Homestuck fan. They're like, ha, ha, how did you know? I'm like, dude, because you, that's, you. it's the same thing. I'm like, dude, it's like that one Hamilton effect with that, with Scribd, and how, <laughs> like, artists began, like, no. drawing heart inside of the mouths. It's like that same effect, mm. except in all of internet culture and, like, fandom culture and stuff. <laughs> Homestuck has had a devastating effect on people with cool anime sunglasses. <laughs> but it's like, oh my god, how did, like, how did, how did it get so big? Is oh, I will never, like, not I will never I mean, understand, yeah. but like, the fact that it's, it was it's, pretty popular. Yeah, I don't know. You just, you, you make things for a while. Hussey was making things for years and years, and they were pretty popular. Well, I, I but mean, then, like, no, I mean, or maybe because it was like, only thing on the not the only thing on the internet but like the only thing like itself on the internet true you just i don't know like what what we're web comics, out there. like yeah like it I mean, was I, what oh nine I, I do yeah oh nine and i i read a lot of web comics from before then and it's kind of like and the homestead was pretty big because obviously not all like them were video game comics like, where it was like four panels and it was some guy talking about video games and has to like let me just write way too much like Imagine if I wrote that, but instead of talking about video games for four panels, I took about 8,000 panels to talk to you about absolutely nothing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I feel like, I feel like Homestuck was 
I mean, I'm not gonna say it was the first of its kind because I don't like I don't know that. Don't mm-hmm. cite me, but like, I don't know the trend of original works being on their own because now most web comics like these are what they're like third party. Yeah. It's not like they put in webtoon, Papa's mm-hmm. like, you know, you gotta you get into this like program and the you know the main the the parent company pays you for like publishing. This is like a this is like a self endowed like project yeah. like so i don't know if it's the first of its kind but i think it i mean i don't know in, in the genre that it's in and the genre of like i just made my own webcomic and i'm going to publish it on my own like <laughs> i'm making a url for it and a domain look at, look at my look at my domain dude <laughs> like, was like I, this is msba adventures congratulations i didn't even make any of it in the he made most of it not in microsoft paint he made like one thing in Microsoft Paint, and but he called the whole thing Microsoft Paint Adventures. Like, what the heck? <laughs> he made one thing no. in like 2002. He made one panel of jailbreak in Microsoft Paint. He's like, all right, that's it. Photoshop. Yeah, there you go. Hussie. But no, I mean, I wonder why. I wonder why Hussey's so like detached from it. And I feel like I, I don't like the guy. I don't like the guy, okay? Like, don't yeah. get it twisted. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not speaking in the place of. Wow, I, w- dude, I wish Andrew Hussey was still. No, I actually could give less of a shit about Andrew Hussey. I think that, you know, I think what he made is cool, but separating the art from the artist, like, dude was real funky guy, okay? <laughs> real funky guy. But, you know, I always wonder, like, why is he so detached from? He's so detached from this. Like, the fact that he has no hand in this. Like. I. They. They just. Hussey does not have the best skills when it comes to dealing with, like, the kind of things you need when you got a webcomic like this. Like, this is big. You have to be, have, like, a good PR. And Hussey is not good PR. He did, they did not deserve to be yeah. in here for PR. <laughs> Hussey I wrote Vriska. Hussey writes like ever. Vriska IRL. Like when Hussey writes business yeah. emails, he writes like Vriska and stuff. It's, and so it's like that's not something that you could do when you're like there's money involved, like lots of money yeah. involved. As we can see by the Kickstarter and how it, I don't even know. Did yeah. No, I think that. What do I think? I just had it. I literally just had it. I th- I'm thinking of something, but I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of a card. No, oh, Can yeah. you guess it? Oh yeah, no, no. Sorry, I just said it. The epilogues ruined everything. I genuinely think <laughs> that the epilogues should not have been released. I think that, if anything, the smartest decision would be for like something like the epilogues to come out like years later. Completed. Like, there's... Mm-hmm. I don't... For Homestuck, as like a piece of media, I don't I don't see like any practical use of it, like updating at the same rate as it was when it was like originally updated. Not at the same rate, but you know, like the same type of update every few months type thing. Like I don't see it being like that. Like whenever you continue mm-hmm. something like that, I'm thinking like, all right, full full length novel type, you know, like Avatar, yeah. Last Airbender, for example. You know, all the comics after that, stuff like that to keep it move, keep moving forward. Like of course, you know, they're getting another show, but like it's a it's a good example of like, okay, after we got the series, we got like little feature length, like either stories or something, yeah, you know, together, yeah. like, so I feel like the epilogues were a really bad attempt at that. And it should have instead been like Homestuck Squared, like the epilogues should have never occurred. And I think <laughs> it would be really funny if the epilogues had released like a chapter every like two weeks or something. That would be so how- hilarious. Like, I think that if you're gonna write something like the epilogues, or like Homestuck Squared should be its own like thing. Like, I don't, I don't think. Like, I'm glad that they came back and they're now uploading at like a steady rate. But I would have really, I would have rather have it come back completed, mm-hmm. because I just, I don't see. There's no like. Of course, it's like a niche fandom, but there's no like demand, you know. Like, I don't, I don't know. To me, if it were me, if I wrote. If I did, like, what, how many pages is it going to, eight, over 8,000, right? Yeah. Like, longest thing, 
on the internet, so, something like that. Maybe at the longest, I don't know. But yeah, like, pretty damn long. Yeah, but it's like, long. yeah, there, there's that, there's that Loud House fanfic. That's, <laughs> that's some crazy work. That, that is, is some crazy work. work. Um, but I just think that the practicality of it all, it's just, it's just lost. I don't think that Homestuck Squared deserved to be like a, you know, a Homestuck styled thing. I think that everything that came out about Homestuck after should have been in like a oh here's a fully you know here's a full length story or like here's a full length you know you could still like release stuff mm -hmm. in like an update form but not not in like little bits and pieces you know like at this point Homestuck should be like a novel like written like a book like written like an actual All right calm like, down don't, don't say that you don't mean that you don't mean that Reef. you don't mean no, that no I mean like I mean just like I don't know, Homestuck Squared book one, but not like an actual like physical copy. I mean, just like completed shit. Yeah. Like com actual things and not yeah, just like. Well, there's a lot better when it's just some guy and that's his only job usually is to just draw this comic and he releases like even it's like an update like every two days or something. Like that's that's yeah. gotta have Homestuck. I feel like update yeah. culture, yeah. update culture is mm -hmm. it's, it's leaving us. Everything that makes money. Every webcomic that makes money off of, like, any third-party website, not even third-party mm -hmm. website, like, look at Webtoon, bro. Mm -hmm. Why is that platform? I could go on a, dude, I'm not going to, but I could go on a rant about Webtoon and, like, the development of that web, like, of that site over the past, like, <laughs> five years. I can go on about it. And I, but I won't, okay? But I, what I oh, will yeah. say is the fact that there's fast pass, the fact that there's daily pass for already completed um, webtoons, if you know what I'm talking about, like, you know, mm -hmm. you have to watch ads or, you know, get tickets to read episodes of, you know, a book that's fully completed, but that's how they're making money because just leaving them on the site, you know, just letting them sit there and people just reading them, they weren't profiting off of that apparently. And then we have fast passes where these authors are drawn panels, like they're still releasing updates week by week, but you can pay to see like five episodes ahead. So it's like, you're not, th that week by week thing isn't working because it's not like profiting. And I yeah. feel like, you know, for something like Homestuck that isn't with something like Webtoon or Top Boss or all those other, you know, Manwa sites or whatever, like it just, I don't think that this format is too good for it. Like I get just nostalgic and stuff and I understand that like, okay, that's the base that it started off of and that's like, that's how the comic started and that's how it should be going, whatever. But like, mm -hmm. I don't think that it should be like, I don't know. Because it, I just feel like it would be better presented, especially since there's two different narrators over two different timelines, right? Mm -hmm. Like you could easily block out and make like different, like block stories within each timeline that are like, you know, yeah, it might take longer, but I don't know. It I think that while. formatting. It wouldn't have taken if they just done it from the beginning. Of course, it wouldn't have taken this long to get where we are right now. Like obviously, it took the epilogues three years to not even really three years to be written. It took them like a year and a half to be written, and a year and a half of break. But that's you know that's no art in it. I guess you know, of course art takes time. So I think it would have taken like three yeah. years to just to make this, and we've waited for you know four or five. Four or five, literally, like. I'm not even four or five, it's like probably almost four years. So what I expected out of what I expected out of Homestuck Squared was not jumping back and forth between timelines. What I was expecting was literally like two fat releases of like okay each timeline and each thing. Like a, that's not like, like Sonic Adventure Two, where they have like two stories and there's a third story that comes after that's like the culmination of the two. Where they come together. Yes, yes. That would have been nice. Yes, dude. That's because a perfect example. Like, but then it would have been like the epilogues. Like, people hated the epilogues. You couldn't really do the epilogues. I really That's... didn't like the epilogues because nothing came together and it was also just written poorly. Yeah. I think the epilogues weren't bad. The epilogues, I don't hate the epilogues, the epilogues because like of how bad. I hate the epilogues how, the way that they characterized each of the characters that we already knew, yeah. right? Like, and that's, that's why, why I didn't like that's it. Why, that's why they can't do it in like two things. Because, like, we're stuck with these characters. Like, we have the characters now stuck with how they are. If they had just released two separate books, 
you would have just been stuck with the candy people for like an entire book and you'd be stuck with the meat people for an entire book and it's like if you don't like one of those people you're not getting like a reprieve if especially if it like released after if you release side by side it would have been like in the blogs and it's kind of like it makes it easier to like you know uh, i'm trying to think of when we heard the news poke from uh, james and stuff and or we heard about from people it was always like i remember you reading a lot of times that like it was like we were told this was like canon now it's like dubiously canon but it's like we were told to write it like it was canon and if you wrote like how you're thinking it you could just do what the eblogs do and you could just skip one of the stories entirely and it's like all that work mm -hmm. and it's like the eblogs in general everyone skips them most of the time it's like you know if you did that and because we're like i don't like these characters if you like just swap them back and forth like they do and it could be like maybe you'll find a character that you like and you'll be like all right i'll read it's just like a better option for keeping yeah people. or like you know you but also it sucks because like people don't want to stay because <laughs> like i just want to see yeah. my characters i don't know i just feel like for something like the epilogues it's set up something to be like all right now you can read about candy and at the end of this like whole candy ordeal you're gonna see like a little hint of meat and then that's what you're gonna look forward to next and then now we're gonna release all the meat for all you meat lovers because you know what like at the end of the day it doesn't matter which which characters like it's homestuck like they're gonna you're, they're gonna read it because it's homestuck like yeah. it, it's at the it's at its age and at the point where it's like all right it doesn't matter how good or bad this media is you've been in it for so long that people are gonna read it anyway it's like drake's music Okay, you could you could it's comparable mm -hmm. to Drake's music, in right. which Drake releases like an album every four like four days, right? And is it the best? Is it better? Is it like anything he released back in like 2012? Absolutely not. But it's Drake, and people are gonna buy it. He doesn't yeah. care. Yeah. There you go. So. Yeah. Anyways, that's my take. That's Happy 413. Happy 413. Um, if you get this far in the yeah. video, why? An hour long in the video. video. An hour right. and two minutes. Crazy. All right, we. I told Shout you to say your last thing. Was that your last thing? That entire twenty yeah, minute. That entire twenty minute. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did say. Yeah. All right, that but, was your yeah. last words. Homestuck lives. Yay. Yeah. Or, 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 or nay. Or nay. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see. I'm giving <laughs> this. I'm right. giving this comic two updates to do something. All right. I'm giving. I'm giving two updates. Okay. Something I'll, has to happen. I'll hold you to that. Next in two yes. updates. Alright, let's hope. Yeah. See. Bye.